So I was using MSI Afterburner to do all my benchmark stuff like that, just like all you guys were, even used it for a slight uh, overclock on the new 5080. But um, I started realizing that basically I was having an issue whenever I started to have OBS or something, basically a second thing on the second monitor, and I was trying to play a game. Basically what it was doing was it seemed like it was trying to prioritize the second monitor rather than the screen that I was actually playing the game on. So the utilization of my GPU was just going absolutely insane. It was fluctuating from 90 to 30 to 70 to 40 to 90 to 20. And it just, it was consistently doing that. And I play Call of Duty Warzone. So that's the game that I was doing it on. That's the game that I noticed it doing it on first. I also tried it on uh, Fortnite, same exact issues. I tried it on Marvel Rivals. It was weird. It did not really feel like it did it on Marvel Rivals. Like it stayed in the, the 90s maybe jump to like a, you know what I mean, like a high 80s once or twice, and then it would go back. So like Marvel Rivals seem normal, which is a little bit odd because I do have uh, Call of Duty and Marvels both downloaded on Steam. So I'm not sure what exactly was going on there. I don't know if it was just like maybe it was the new 50 series, not mixing well with the MSI Afterburner. Now, this is the part that you guys pay attention to. MSI Afterburner has two different, um, they have two different applications, right? One of them is a beta version. One of them is a non-beta version. And if you go to their website, the non-beta version says like 2023. That's the version that I was on. Now I had a buddy that was using the beta version, which I I just figured the other version was going to be the better version, right? Because it's it doesn't say beta on it. You're not testing it. That's that's kind of what I see beta as. It's like it's just being tested at the moment. So I had the other version. My buddy had the beta version. And he was like, yo, man, which one were you rocking? Because, you know, I'm having the beta on my i have the beta on my pc and i'm having no issues at all so basically what i went through was absolute hell i thought it was my ram i replaced my ram i was already having issues with my motherboard like the ethernet port the wi-fi adapter stuff like that i tried to do everything i could to fix that so i ended up uh swapping over my swapping ram i swapped motherboards still had the same exact issue i'm like what is going on i don't know what the hell is going on I'm trying everything. I'm restarting, redoing drivers. I reinstalled Windows. I did absolutely everything I could possibly do. I even went and got a uh, a new CPU because I'm like, maybe it's my CPU, okay? So we went from the 7800X 3D to the 9950X, same exact issues. And at this point, I'm just pulling my hair out. I'm mo new motherboard, new CPU, new RAM. I even went and bought the freaking new power supply because the, uh, the wattage, like as you're, if you have MSI Afterburner on, like you actually have the stats pulled up, you can see what your uh, GPU wattage is. Like as soon as the usage would drop, so would my, uh, like obviously the power that the GPU is taking would drop. So I'm like, maybe it's just not getting like consistent power, which I had a thermal take uh, power supply that I literally had gotten last January. So like, I didn't think it was really that, but at this point, what could it be, right? I've swapped out everything else. So I swapped out that too. So at this point with the 5080 that I've only gotten, I've only had for two weeks, I'm at a new GPU, CPU, RAM, motherboard, now power supply. I've basically built a whole new computer. A week before this, I put I put this stuff into a new uh, PC case. We went from the NZXT H9 to the O11 with the RGB on the sides and stuff like that. So overall, I'm happy with the build that I have now. But I just wanted to make this video and just kind of... Um, just get the word out there that if you guys are using MSI Afterburner, I don't know if it's with the uh, the new 50 series, then some drivers, I don't know what it is, but switch to the beta version if you guys aren't already and try that out. Let me know in the comment section if that does help you or if you guys aren't experiencing any of these issues, definitely let me know in the comments. I just wanted to, again, make this video to let it be known that I had, again, I had used a 7800X 3D, even a 9950X, same GPU. But I did take my GPU to a buddy's house, tried it out there. It was not the GPU whatsoever. So anyway, how I noticed this, that it was actually MSI Afterburner was I did a clean wipe of my PC. I wiped everything. After I've tried all of this stuff and it was still doing the exact same problem, like having the exact same problem, I just said, screw it. I'm just going to wipe everything, install Windows clean, install new drivers clean. I did all of that. So the first thing I do whenever after I did that was download Call of Duty, get my OBS going, and then everything was running fine. 
I had OBS recording. I had multiple videos up on YouTube rolling. I was in the game on Call of Duty. What am I going to do next? I'm going to, uh, I'm going to install MSI Afterburner. So again, not thinking. I just did the, um, cause I didn't know this at this point, but I just did the non beta version because it had been working for me before this, before I got the 50 series, I had a 4090 in here. So maybe it's something with the 50 series again. I don't know. So I, again, I installed the MSI Afterburner, the non-beta version, set everything up, had all my names on my GPU, CPU, all that, you know what I mean? Go to play Call of Duty. Same freaking problem start happening. I was like, nope. Uninstalled the MSI Afterburner right, out of, right off my computer, jumped into a Call of Duty game, ran perfectly fine, hit up my buddy, was like, yo, dude, I'm just going to not use the MSI Afterburner anymore. And he said, man, try the beta version. So I've tried the beta version in the past few days, four days now. I've had zero issues with the beta version. Now, again, I don't know what caused the problems that I was having, um, but I'm pretty sure, 99% sure that it was the MSI Afterburner doing something with either A, my graphics card, something with the new Windows update, something was not vibing right. So again, just drop a comment if you guys did experience any of this and uh, help your boy out if you guys have made it this far in the video. Subscribe to the channel. Tell somebody how you darn. And uh, again, just drop a comment. Let me know if you guys have experienced any of these problems. So I appreciate you guys for making it this far. And I uh, hope you guys have a great day.